I'm going to show you how you can download a bank statement or credit card statement into QuickBooks using Z Axis. The first step in the process is to get a bank statement or credit card statement file from your bank or credit card company. Most of them will provide a way that you can download that from their website. Here's an example I'm using um, a PayPal account and here you can download statement history into um, what we call a QIF file which is a quick and import file but will work with importing into QuickBooks. Other types of files supported are QBO, QFX, OFX type files. So once you've downloaded your file, then you need to then go into Z Axis and connect to QuickBooks. So we've done that here and click on the import tab. So we'll browse to where we saved that QIF file, and that's the file format I'm going to use today. This is a sample credit card statement. Browsed and opened that file, we can then select from this drop down list here the account in QuickBooks that we wish to import it into. So this is a Visa card statement, so I'm going to select. The next step is to select what we call a coding template. A coding template is a way that we access will categorize automatically the rows in your statement to the corresponding names and accounts or items in QuickBooks. I've set one of those up already and here we've called it the Visa credit card account coding template. So I'll select that and preview. In the statement coding preview, you can see here the data that's been pulled from the statement file. So we've got um, a date, we've got a payee, and we've got an amount. So what the coding template has done, is it's gone through and recognized rows within the statement and automatically categorized those. I'll show you how it's done that. So this is one that I've set up before. So I've entered in a number of keywords. I've entered in the corresponding name of the supplier or the customer that's to be associated to and the expense account. So when we open the preview, you can see the contents of the credit card statement file that we've brought in, showing the date, reference number column, payee, and amount. That's generally the information that is available within the statement file. What Axis has done is taken that statement file, recognized these payees, and auto-categorized them to a particular vendor or customer in QuickBooks, a particular QuickBooks account, and so on. So we've applied what we call a coding template towards that statement file. These are set up before. So to do that, I've entered in a number of keywords that will be recognized within the statement file, and the corresponding name, I in here, the vendor name, and the expense account. And that could be an item or a cost of goods sold account. Equally, if that um, particular row was billable, we could enter the customer job and a tax code as well. In this particular example, you'll notice that a number of the rows within the statement, the coding template hasn't recognized who the particular payee is. So let's add one in for that. So we're going to put in a keyword of Hilton. And that should be assigned to Hilton Hotels and we're going to put that in as a traveling expense. So we've added in a new row here for Hilton, it's going to be applied to the Hilton hotels and as an expense account of traveling expenses. So once that's now then applied, you can see that's auto-categorized those fields. You also have the option, if you like, to do that just manually into this um, preview area here as well. So I'll do that. So we can now see that our statement's been fully categorized. We click OK and now commit the import into QuickBooks. When the import is completed, we see a summary. Now let's just go into QuickBooks and show you that. So there you can see all the transactions have been imported into QuickBooks as credit card charges.